Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so I've decided in the end that I am actually going to do the Extreme Super Battle Road guides as separate videos because I recorded the first couple and like uh, even halfway through the video is going to be over an hour long. So obviously, you know, even with timestamps being able to help you find the stage that you need to look at the guide for, that's obviously going to be super annoying. Very, very long video. So I feel like it probably is best to break it down into stages. So I'm going to record this generic intro that I'm then going to put in front of each one of the guides because I already recorded a lot of them, you know, expecting that I was going to put them together as one video so they don't have their own proper intro. So most of them just start with me going, so next up this stage. So there's no proper actual video uh, intro. So I'm going to record this as well as an outro that I can whack on the end. Uh, and we're going to put these in front of all of the guides. So between now and the time that the stages drop, which should be Tuesday evening in the US, Wednesday morning in the UK, all of these videos should be out in time for the stages to be released so you guys can get some advice on teams for beating those stages so i think i mention it in each one of the guides i recorded already anyway but make sure you let me know for this particular video for this stage what your team build is going to be down below in the comment section and if there's any units that you think i missed out that i should have talked about let me know that down below and we can continue the discussion down there as well. So if you do find the guide helpful, do smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so next up we have movie bosses. Now, obviously with the changes that have been made to the schedule leading up to the end of this year, we do not have the LR Janemba yet, who obviously would have been a big help for this stage, but the stage is clearable without him. I've seen screenshots, there was one going around on Twitter recently of uh, someone finally getting the no item run on ESBR on JP and they did not have Janemba on the team so it's not like you need him to beat the stage as someone's even done it with no items without him on the team. So we'll start off with the Int Broly. Uh, Int Broly is definitely a very solid unit for this team. Um, he infinitely raises his attack and defense and can perform multiple super attacks in one turn. He has a little bit of damage reduction as well as a built-in chance to crit. And then he does also get more damage reduction and chance to crit after attacking if there is a pure or hybrid Saiyans enemy. And if we look at the movie boss's actual stage, uh, apart from the first stage, the other two have hybrid or pure Saiyans. So he's able to get his full buff there. So he is definitely going to be very powerful. Obviously, he does kind of rely on RNG. Um, you know, if you get one of those godly turns where on the first turn he super attacks like three times, then obviously he's going to be looking really good. Uh, if you get one of those turns where he does like one super and then one additional normal, then he's obviously not going to look quite as good. But he definitely is a solid unit. Uh, he has an active skill that he has to perform four or more supers. So in a shorter event like Super Battle Road, if you don't get lucky with the RNG and get multiple supers, you might not be able to see this in the run. But if you do, it obviously gives him a massive attack buff, guaranteed super, attacks effective against all types. So he can absolutely pop off and uh, finish off the fight if you get the active skill. So very solid unit, uh, probably has the best leader skill overall for the category with the HP 130, attack and defense 170. The lower HP is not ideal for Super Battle Road, but definitely very strong. Uh, next up, we have the Turles. So Turles is a little bit outdated now in a lot of content, but in Super Battle Road, he definitely still has his uses because he is a support unit, but he has a medium chance to stun on Super. And obviously, if he randomly gets his transformation with the uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might, that goes up to being a 50% chance to stun. And his stats increase massively. He also gives you a little bit of HP recovery, which is nice. But mainly, if you are running him, uh, either as your leader or as a friend or on the team, uh, he can be effective as a floating unit that has a chance to stun the enemy. He obviously also is the best link, for, uh, link partner for LR Turles, who we will talk about. But... That no item run that I mentioned previously, that was done using Turles as the leader. So even with Turles on the team, a no item run was possible. But you do have to be very much aware if he fails to stun 
or you know he's just getting multiple attacks coming his way like he will get absolutely destroyed especially with no item active so you have to be very very careful if you want to use agl turles uh next up we have the physical broly he's just here as an honorable mention because he's the other movie bosses category leader but He's just very outdated for Super Battle Road, especially Extreme Super Battle Road. His defense is not the best. He does do an AoE, but his attack stats aren't exactly crazy. So he's not, even though he's hitting all the enemies, he's not doing huge damage to all of them. So I feel like he's probably, he's almost more of a last resort leader for the team than Turles is, considering the utility that Turles has. I probably wouldn't be bringing this guy on the team for my build but he might be the best movie bosses leader that you guys have uh we obviously also have the lr broly chi lion lemo they're a movie bosses lead for key and 130 i would almost go as far as to say they're a better leader for the team than that physical broly if you had to choose between the two of them because they greatly raise defense on super so their defense is going to be pretty good they are a nuka so they are reliant on orbs and then of course depending on which type of orb you pick up they get different buffs if you're getting physical orbs, they can get a really big attack and defense buff just for themselves. If you're getting uh, AGL or STR, they're giving all allies an attack buff. And then tech and int, they're giving all allies a defensive buff. So getting the tech or int orbs can be really good. Because obviously giving everyone extra defense in Extreme Super Battle Road is very useful. And if you are able to pick up seven orbs, which is a bit more of a tall order, they then get the 100% dodge, which is good. The only downside to them, their links are not the best, so they don't fit super well on the team, but they definitely can be useful to bring. So, first up, we got to talk about LRSTR Roly when it comes to the other, the non-leader units. Uh, he's an absolute beast. As we already said at the beginning, you're fighting a pure or hybrid Saiyan in the second and third fight, and those both include uh, Goku family enemies. So he's also going to have the attacks effective against all types. Guaranteed to hit, it's not important because they don't dodge in SBR. But yeah, very, very strong. Uh, the AoEs, guaranteed additional super, dishing out tons of damage. Can specifically target a single enemy and go for the 18 key to get big damage because he'll do the single target super on them and then get a guaranteed additional. So obviously this guy, one of the strongest units on the team. Don't really need to say much else about him, to be honest. The only downside, of course, if you are running the Int Broly as the leader, they share a name so they won't link. So you've got to think about your rotations a little bit if you are going to bring this guy. So he is a uh, very, very solid. One of the top picks for the team. So next up, we have the LR Turles, who we mentioned previously. Uh, he's very good. He's still one of my favorite summonable LRs. Uh, he has a chance to stun on super, medium on the 12 key, high chance on the 18 key. Uh, he can do a lot of damage. He gives Terrifying Conqueror's allies a bit of a buff as well, which there is obviously some crossover with this category. Uh, he gets key plus six and attacks effective against all types when the enemy is stunned. So if you are bringing other stunners, then obviously that is a useful extra effect. He gets attacks effective against all types and a high chance of launching an additional super when key is 24 so that's obviously really good because getting the additional super means not any more damage obviously but another stun chance and if you have dupes or additional skill orbs the potential for a triple super turn and he does have the active skill to help you get that full 24 key it can be activated when hp is 60 percent or less or from the eighth turn so eighth turn you're never going to see that obviously in super battle road but HP 60% or less, very easy to see that in Super Battle Road. And because there's no turn restriction on the HP version, it means you can go into the second or third fight on 60% or less HP, use the active skill to give him the full 24 key, and then heal uh, or use a defensive item. So very, very good. Uh, LR Turl is definitely going to be good for this. His defense isn't the greatest, so he's not like a unit that you can put in slot one and just get him to tank a load of hits. But he is still a solid unit, can put out a ton of damage, and has all the uh, stun chances as well. So very, very strong for this team. Uh, next up, we have Bojack. LR Bojack is a little bit outdated now, but remember, of course, he doesn't have his easy A yet, and he's still as good as he is. Like, he's not the best LR or anything like that, but very solid. Um, the more HP you have... Uh, he gets an attack buff and then the less he gets a defense buff which is good because the lower your health the more defense you want him to have um, he does raise extreme class allies attack by 40% with his super so as long as he's not in slot 3 he's going to be affecting the rest of the rotation giving them a bit of an attack buff which is nice um, so he's just overall like a solid unit to bring not the craziest unit anymore 
but still very effective and obviously very good to bring if you are going to bring the str bojack who is very good they obviously share some of those more niche links uh, bojack is a space traveling warriors support unit which there's a lot of crossover in this team a lot of the units we talked about already are also space traveling warriors um, and then the more enemies there are the more of a buff he gives to them which is really good he raises defense on super so his defense is reasonably good and then when there's only one enemy left starting from the fourth turn he can transform into the full power bojack um, loses his support of course but becomes a uh, much harder hitter the more orbs you pick up you can get a nice little attack and defensive buff with him as well so very very strong especially when you're running him on rotation with the lr version of bojack uh, next up we have the uh, tapion we talked about him in the giant form video but He's going to be very solid for any stage of Super Battle Road because he's got solid start of turn defense coupled with 50% damage reduction. And then he also lowers attack on Super. So very, very good. He's not going to link super well with this team, but he can be an effective unit to fill in if you're running out of options just as a unit that can be a really good slot one tank. So he can be very, very effective. And then, of course, if you drop below 50% HP, you get the transformation. So you get a couple of free turns of damage using Harudagon, where you obviously can't take any damage. So you can try and target down the enemy that's on the lowest HP and get rid of them. And, of course, this has no turn restriction. So if you go into the second or third fight below 50% HP with Tapion on rotation, he'll transform straight away. And then you can get a bit of extra damage onto one of the enemies right at the start without having to take any damage yourself which is very useful so next up we have tech janemba we talked about him as well in a previous one he's really good as support as a floating third slot unit because he raises defense on super if you can get the two rainbow orbs he has damage reduction so those two things combined will obviously make him very good defensively and if you get the four or more type orbs he's giving all the allies attack and defense 30 percent so as much as i don't like how restrictive that passive is with his orbs he can be very very useful as a support on the team so fits in very nicely has some decent links metamorphosis of the healing is always nice as well and of course you know this is a team largely constructed of units that have big bad bosses outside of some of the brolies annoyingly so <clears throat> very very strong link set across this category next up we have the tech transforming freezer again we've talked about him before he is a very powerful unit decent defense very good output of damage heals at the start of the turn good link set Nothing else we really need to say. Just he got a very, very solid easy A. So he is a very strong unit for the team. He's not like a crazy tank. So I don't know if he's like a top pick for like a no item attempt. But he is a very solid unit. Uh, next up we have the Janemba. Either the Int one or the STR one obviously is fine. Because they got the guarding. They got the dodging. They can do decent damage. They got decent links. Just very, very solid defensive option. Either this one or the STR or both the same name update uh, very solid slot one tanks and then of course we have the easy a for physical cooler uh, his easy a very powerful he's not like a super tank but his defense is very good especially when he's fully built up but he's just going to be putting out a ton of damage multiple additional supers potentially in one turn so this guy very very good and obviously links up very well with the str cooler who we didn't actually mention so if we go back to movie bosses to pick out some other honorable mentions we didn't really mention str cooler we talked about him in the transformation boost part of the guide uh, he's a decent support unit for uh, this team because there's a lot of crossover with terrifying conquerors which is the support he gives when there's multiple enemies and he lowers attack on super and i didn't bring up the tabs i think in this one for the golden freezers obviously agl or tech golden freezer super super good slot one tanks as long as you can be at the hp restriction so they're actually getting their damage reduction but they are going to be very very strong defensively um i was going to pick out str 13 as an honorable mention but he doesn't have his easy a yet on global so he's not particularly good pre easy a and 13 is okay but really designed to be on an android team like you could slot him in here and hope for like the stun chance from his super but this is definitely not really the team that you want to be running him on so let me know down below what your movie bosses team is going to look like for this stage
Okay, there you go. So that is going to conclude this guide. Uh, make sure, like I said at the start, you let me know down below if there's a unit that I didn't talk about or you think I should have talked in more detail about and we can discuss that further in the comments and let me know what your team is going to look like. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.